Hi, my name is Jacob Bakovsky and I'm an application engineer here at Go Engineer. The typical weld bead feature in SolidWorks only shows us a graphical representation of the weld. However, some of the most common welds are fillet welds. But did you know that since 2015, SolidWorks has given us the ability to create them as a solid body? Today, I'm going to show us how to make a solid weld feature. Please note that this only works for fillet welds on cylindrical or planar face selections. And I'm going to be using the same model from the Creating Weld Beads for Graphical Welds video by our very talented support engineer, Dane Potter. If you haven't already seen this video, I will provide a link at the end of this video. Please note that in real life, the actual fillet will be slightly different than the one in the CAD model, and the throat size is an important consideration with respect to welds. The size of the weld in real life will vary slightly from the one in CAD. Also, the fillet weld profile in SOLIDWORKS represents a mitered profile. However, there are times when there is a concave profile with a reduced throat, or a convex profile which adds extra material. Unless otherwise specified on the drawing or welding specification, the throat should typically be at least equal to the size of the material thickness. In this example, the square tube is a thickness of 6.3 millimeters, so that is what we will use as a value for our fillet weld. Also note that when using weld mints, the software automatically creates a derived configuration for as welded. So we will be careful to place all our welds in that configuration. This can be turned on the options under Document Properties, Weld Mints. By default, the Fillet Bead command is not a part of the Weld Mints toolbar. To get it onto our command manager, we must first activate the Weld Mints toolbar. To activate the Weld Mints toolbar, simply right mouse click on the command manager and select Weld Mints. The command is found under Insert, Weld Mints, Fillet Bead. But I suggest searching commands and dragging the Fillet Bead command to the command manager so that it is more readily available. To use the command, we must specify the first face, then the adjacent face, and the software will pick up the virtual edge. In this case, we will use a value of 6.3 millimeters for the fillet size, as that is the thickness of the tube. Just choose the fillet size and whether you want full length, intermittent, or staggered. And there are some examples of intermittent or staggered here in the help command. Using the weld bead command will only generate welds in a weld folder at the top of our feature tree. The fillet bead command actually creates solid geometry that we can use to add material and isolate. Since this is solid geometry, we can use it in an FEA study, but there is much co to consider before approaching. If you need to determine the throat size based on loading conditions, please see our information on edge weld connectors available in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Professional and above. Here I've set up two studies, one in the as welded and one in the as machined configuration. There will be conveyor rollers added to the side beams, which are shown here, so that we can run this study with a 500,000 pound force acting on each of the side beams, with an 8 millimeter curvature based large element size for consistency between the two studies. However, there are a few things we need to take into consideration before simulating. FEA likes to see parts which are machined, have no defects, and with polished surfaces, is heat treated to remove residual stresses, and CNC machined for geometric consistency. However, welds vary from part to part due to chemistry, temperature, material, geometry, heat affected zone, micro cracking, residual stresses after cooling, and part geometry. In addition, due to the sharp corners that are unlike actual weld geometry, this can cause stress singularities. Take a look at the stress results side by side with the compare button. As we can see, the addition of the bonded weld feature does not affect the value of maximum stress in this case. However, if we zoom in, we can see that the distribution of highest stress has propagated through our weld feature. 
My name is Jacob Bakovsky and this has been a SolidWorks quick tip video from Go Engineer. If you are interested in learning more about graphical weld beads and how to represent them in your drawing, please see the video listed here. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.